Many of us doesn't know that eating disorders does exist. And we don't know that it affects the life of many people around the world. Maybe isa ka, isa ka sa mga taong yun. Samahan mo ako sa adbukasiyang ito. Alamin natin kung paano nga ba ito nangyayari at paano nga ba ito nakakaapekto sa buhay ng maraming tao sa buong mundo. Let's learn about eating disorder. And this channel is promoting eating disorder care. Let's go! Hi! Maybe you are wondering, do eating disorder really exist? Yes, it does exist. And it affects the life of many people around the world. Eating disorders are medical conditions. They are not a lifestyle choice. They affect your body's ability to get proper nutrition. And these can lead to health issues such as heart and kidney problems, or sometimes even death. Eating disorders are serious mental health disorders that biologically influence medical illnesses marked by severe disturbances to one's eating behaviors. Although many people may be concerned about their health, weight, or appearance from time to time, some people become fixated or obsessed with weight loss, body weight, or shape, and controlling their food intake. These may be signs of an eating disorder. Eating disorders are not a choice. These disorders can affect person's physical and mental health. In cases, some cases, they can be life-threatening. With treatment, however, people can recover completely from eating disorders. Now, that we already know eating disorder really exists, let's talk about what causes eating disorders. According to the National Institute of Mental Health, there are many genetic, environmental, and sociological factors that contribute to eating disorder development. Biological risk factors for eating disorders include many genetic factors such as predispositions to medical and mental illnesses. Individuals that have a family history for mental illness diagnosis are more likely to experience mental health illnesses themselves. Even if the predisposed mental illness is not an eating disorder, eating disorders commonly occur with diagnoses such as depression, anxiety, or substance use issues, to name a few. An individual's medical history can also increase eating disorder risk, as research indicates that certain illnesses such as type 1 diabetes are associated with the increased risk for eating disorder development. Psychological factors for eating disorders include a concurrent diagnosis of another disorder as mentioned earlier. Additionally, there are specific personality traits that research indicates that can increase the likelihood of developing an eating disorder, such as perfectionism, low self-worth, distorted body image, or impulsivity. Experiencing a past or present trauma also increases one's likelihood of developing a disordered eating belief or pattern. While environmental factors include the dynamics that surround an individual, these can include family dynamics, as family related beliefs and discussions around weight, food, and self view are shown to be associated with eating disorders. The social views one absorbs by peers, social media, television, your movies series, and 
consumer culture are also related to the increased development of eating disorders. Let's keep in your mind that people with eating disorders may appear healthy, yet they are extremely ill. And that's all for today's episode. See you again in the next episode of Project Edgar. I hope you learned something a lot. Please, a lot. I hope you learned a lot on this episode. Stay tuned, like, comment, and share. Remember that have peace with your food. Adios!